Hey everybody, Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors here. Let's take a look into a very expansive line of travel trailers and fifth wheels. The Forest Rivers Flagstaff Superlight. With a total of 24 floor plans, the Flagstaff Superlight line is ready to go for the rookie RVer as well as the seasoned pro. Let's check on these Flagstaff Superlight travel trailer lines first. They have a sweet dozen. The travel trailers come in lengths from 25 feet to just over 32 feet and have a range and unloaded weight from close to 5,600 pounds up to nearly 8,000 pounds. The floor plans are the most evenly divided I've ever seen. So let's go through them in alphabetical order, starting with the bunkhouse models. First up, we have the 27 BHWS. As an aside, the WS stands for wardrobe slide. Most of the travel trailers in the Flagstaff Super Light line have a wardrobe slide in the bedroom, plus a Serta Queen bed. The 27 BHWS is no exception to this rule. It has a double over double bunks on the campsite and a large living area slide out containing a height of bed and a huge U-shaped dinette. All this allows the 27 BHWS to sleep up to an astounding 10 people. The kitchen is ample and L-shaped and the bedroom has a solid pocket door for privacy. Number two of the three bunkhouse models is the 29 BDS. This beauty has a walk-through bathroom up front with private access via a pocket door for, for, from the bedroom. It has an L-shaped kitchen with a large campsite slide pulling out the high to bed U-shaped dinette combo. What's super interesting is the back end. The 29 BDS has a true bunk room with a solid door plus a slide out containing a flip up bunk and cube sofa. Plus the 29 BDS has a half bath in the back with access via the exterior as well as the bunk room. Last of the three is the 29 BHS. This model has the same living area as the 27 BHWS, but puts the queen bed on a slide. The bunk area, a quad bunk system with two twin bunks and a play cube sofa is a true bunk room with a solid door. The 29 BHS also has an outside kitchen and can sleep up to 10. Okay, now on to the camp chef centered kitchen models. First up is the only front kitchen floor plan the 26 FKBS. You'll find the bedroom in the back with a queen bed and a slide and a private entry to the bedroom. Moving forward, the standard living area slide pulls out the height of bed and dinette, creating room for a spacious L-shaped kitchen that's placed on the front wall and down the entry side. The rear kitchen models are the all new 26 RKBS and 29 RKSW. The 26 is a mirror of the 26 FKBS, moving the bedroom with its queen bed on a slide up front and shifting the kitchen to the rear of the model. The 29 RKSW shakes things up just a little bit. As it's longer, it stretches out the rear kitchen, running it from the back wall with nearly 10 feet of more kitchen up to the entry wall, ending at a nice entertainment center fireplace combo. The living area slide now holds the dinette and a pair of theater seats that sit across from the entertainment center. There is a height of bed on an interior wall and the bathroom is a walkthrough leading into the bedroom. Sticking to the alphabetical order, we have the rear bath models. First up, it's the smallest super light, the 23 FBDS, perfect for a camping couple. This model has the U-shaped dinette on a slide, a kitchen slide, plus a Murphy bed to create a lot of space in the living area. The good sized bathroom has a tall neo angle shower, up next, the 26 RBWS, with its bathroom spreading across the entire back wall and a very nice L-shaped kitchen. There's a large living area slide with a convertible dinette and a high to bed sofa. With the queen bed, the 26 RBWS is capable of sleeping up to five people. The 29 RBS, the largest of the rear bath Flagstaff Superlight models, has dual slides. The identical living area slide as the 26 RBWS plus a queen bed with a king option on its very own slide. The rear bath is very large and includes a walk-in closet and washer dryer prep. The L-shaped kitchen is complemented by an outside kitchen. Now let's move on to the rear living models. The all new 26 RLSW, 26 RSWS and 29 RSWS. The 26 RLSW and the 26 RSWS are pretty similar. They both have a large living area slide with a convertible dinette. The 26 RLSW adds a hide-a-bed sofa into the slide. The 26 RSWS, the fridge and the pantry, 
Both have two entry doors, one a private entry into the master bedroom. Each also has a walk-through bathroom, as well as a wardrobe closet and a slide. The 26 RLSW has two swivel chairs on its back wall and is set up where the L-shaped kitchen breaks up the living area. The 26 RSWS corners the L-shaped kitchen, which focuses the living area on entertainment as the dinette and hide-to-bed sofa have direct eyeball access to the entertainment center. The 29 RSWS opens up the living area with opposing slide-outs. One contains the dinette, entertainment center, fireplace combo, and the outside kitchen. The other pulls out the theater seats and kitchen appliances. The 29 RSWS has a large kidney-shaped kitchen counter and a hide-to-bed sofa. Up front, you'll find a walk-through bathroom leading into the master bedroom with its own wardrobe slide. So that is that for the Flagstaff Superlight Travel Trailers. Let's move our focus onto the even dozen fifth wheels. The fifth wheels fall from just over 7,100 pounds to just over 9,800 pounds in unloaded weight, and in length from 28 and a half feet up to 36 feet. Every one of the Flagstaff Superlight fifth wheel floor plans have a walk around Serta Queen bed. Wardrobe slide, solid privacy door, solid pocket door, access to the bathroom, and each bathroom has a neo angle shower. As such, we will be focusing on the back end of every floor plan. Of the 12, four of them are bunkhouse models. The 527 BHS has bunks covering most of the back wall and opens up to the main living area where you'll find a large living area slide with a high to bed sofa and king U-shaped dinette across from an entertainment center fireplace combo. Plus, it has that L-shaped kitchen. The 527 BHS, along with the next one, the 529 BH, do have outside kitchens. Where the 529 BH differs is the bunk room. While sleeping the same number of four, it's larger, has a solid pocket door for privacy, plus a washer dryer prep. A slide holding the king U-shaped dinette, fridge and pantry sits right across from the L-shaped kitchen and entertainment center fireplace combo. A hide bed sofa sits perpendicular to the dinette. The next one up, the 529 MBS, has a mid bunk where a queen loft sits above an enclosed room containing a hide bed sofa on a slide and an entertainment center. There is an additional entertainment center on the back wall in the living area containing opposing slides. The slides hold the king U-shaped dinette and major kitchen appliances. The final fifth wheel bunkhouse is the 529 RBS. This fifth wheel has the same kitchen slide as the 529 MBS, only it's moved to the middle. A large slide on the campsite houses theater seats and a dinette. What makes the 529 RBS unique is the size of the bunk room. It sleeps four with a pair of twin bunks and the convertible play cube sofa, but it also has its own half bath. So that's it for the bunk houses. Now it's time for the rear living fifth wheel models. The baby, if there is such a thing in this lineup, is the 524 LWS. It has a hide a bed sofa on its back wall and a slide that holds a king U-shaped dinette and fridge across from the entertainment center. The next one is the all new 526 RWS. The 526 has an angled entertainment center fireplace combo coming off its back wall so you can watch TV from the slide with its hide a bed sofa and booth dinette. The 526 RWS also has a wide kitchen counter with a C-top extension. The next two are the 528s, the 528 CKWS and 528 IKWS. Both have a kitchen island with the CKWS having a campsite slide housing the rest of the kitchen as well as an entertainment center fireplace combo. Its opposing slide houses theater seats and a dinette. The CKWS also has a really nice outside kitchen. On its rear wall sits a hide a bed sofa as opposed to the IKWS that has a pair of swivel chairs. The IKWS moves the hide a bed to the large living area slide, also containing the major kitchen appliances. The 528 IKWS has an additional living area slide containing a freestanding dinette and the entertainment center fireplace combo. The final rear living floor plan is a doozy. The 529 RLKS is entertainment centric. The back wall is dominated by the entertainment center fireplace combo and has two opposing slides holding a pair of high to bed sofas. Directly opposite the back wall sits theater seats. This all creates a fantastic den area to lounge and watch TV. Most of the kitchen is on a slide with both seating stools complementing the kitchen area. 
We come to the final three, the rear kitchen models. If you're a camp cook, you're gonna love these layouts. First up, the all new 526 RK. The kitchen is L-shaped, running the entire rear wall and up the entry side to the entertainment center fireplace combo. A single living area slide pulls out the massive king U-shaped dinette and fridge. Next, the 528 RKS has the same large living area slide with the dinette and theater seats like the 528 CKWS, but instead of a campsite slide, it has a massive kitchen on its back wall that L's into the entertainment center fireplace combo. The 528 RKS also has the same large outside kitchen as the 528 CKWS. Our final floor plan is the 528 RWS. Also brand new, this one utilizes opposing slides to create room for a kitchen island containing a large sink. One slide pulls out both the booth dinette and the theater seats. The other houses the range, counter space, and the entertainment center with a fireplace. On the back wall, you'll find a large fridge, storage, and pantry with washer dryer prep. The 528 RWS also sports an outside kitchen. Let's all take a look at what makes the Flagstaff Superlight so special regarding features. Inside, you're gonna get beautiful cabinetry, solid surface kitchen countertops, high output gas range with glass top cover, flush mount sink with high rise faucet, optional stainless steel appliances, or optional decorative wood paneling on the fridge. When it comes to the exterior, you'll find assets like a rear ladder, outside shower, power awning, outside speakers, and power front jack on the fifth wheels or an optional power tongue jack on the travel trailers. Whatever you're planning on doing or going in our country, or if you're an experienced RVer or a beginner, rest assured you'll be able to find a suitable camper in the Forest River Flagstaff Superlight line of travel trailers and fifth wheels. These are ones you have to see.